Hello gamers and thank you for watching. The new River Raids map update which adds Berba, Erif and Ryan Rivers also adds new 5 cool weapons which you can get for free and I left a video in the description with how you can get all these weapons. Now I upgraded them to the max and will do a short presentation here and also compare them to the other weapons. First it's Rolo's Last Day Nax which has a perk increase attack during a special attack a bonus of plus 15 attack. We see it's pretty slow, it has 34 speed, attack 153, stun 183, critical chance 93 and weight 15. If you like what you're seeing so far, then please take a 1 second break to like the video and also subscribe in order to support the channel. Now I don't have all the day nexus fully upgraded so I'll try to compare that with the ones that have a maximum level and we have Lagertas X here at max and they are quite similar, Lagertas has a slight advantage, it has better attack, better speed and stun but only one extra point. The Bone Biter is also fully upgraded and we see it's pretty much at the same level as Rolo's Axe, attack has less, stun is better and its speed is way better. Another fully upgraded Dane Axe is Scuddy's Blade, this is way better than Rolo's Axe, we can see now the stats, it has a better stun and attack and its downside is it's lower by 2 points. Another weapon we can get with the new river rates is the Ulfberg Sword, as a perk it has increased critical chance and critical damage when pairing, plus 15 critical chance, plus 15 critical damage and I have all the swords upgraded here so we can easily compare each one. The Ring Sword, which you can get in the DLC Siege of Paris, it's a weaker weapon than Wolfsberg, we see Durandal being better, it has better attack and stun stats, and Skrofnung Sword, it's pretty much similar, and the Joyo Sword, it's the same, and the Eggbird Sword, it's again the same. If you like what you're seeing so far, then please take a 1 second break to like the video and also subscribe in order to support the channel. The next weapon is Sir Garrett's Holy Sword. As a perk it has increased ability damage and melee damage after activating Spinning Harpoon and I have a link in the description with how you can find this ability in the new River Raids map. You can get 10 plus ability damage and 10 plus melee damage. Here I don't have a lot of two hands where it's upgraded to the max and let's compare the ones that we've got. The scimitar which is a good sword, we see it has better stats only that it's a bit slower. The St. George's sword can be a better sword if it's fully upgraded so if you guys can confirm this uh, just leave a comment down below. The next weapon is the Celtic Crusher, which as a perk has increased axe damage fury. The Celtic Crusher is better than the Warhammer, at least for the attack, the stun is won by the Warhammer and the Celtic Crusher is also slower. Mjolnir it's similar to the Celtic Crusher, same attack, similar stun and the similar speed, same weight and same crit. And this last hammer I unlocked at Red Dot Shop, the Wukong Vasara, we can see its stun attack is weaker than the Celtic one. The last weapon is the Lock Spear, I have a link in the description with how you can get this. As a perk it has Ignite weapon when stunning an enemy and it lasts for 10 seconds.
Comparing to the other ones, we can find out that it's a pretty good weapon as most of the spears are in that game. It's actually a better spear than the feared spear and it has better attack and stun. When it comes to the gay bulk spear, it's not even close, the attack and stun has a difference of 10 points. It is faster though, but you can also add spin runes to the game bulk spear and make it a bit faster. Lug Spear is quite similar to Fafnir's Fang when it comes to the stats, it has same attack, similar stun and speed and same crit 117. The Cutfarge Spear is an inferior spear, it has lower attack and stun. And Gangnir is one of the best top two weapons in the game I would say, and of course it will be better than Lux Spear. It has better attack and stun, and what I love about Gangnir is that it has bigger reach, its perk, its increased range, its uh, reach is extended by a force field. Hope this video worked well for you, thank you very much for watching the entire video, don't hesitate to like the video and subscribe and I wish you all the best, goodbye.